Hello and welcome to Seduce Reviews. Smart Home. <laughs> no, that is not Smart Home. This is a wall light switch. I actually specifically requested this for a review because uh, I have a use for it. So uh, let's test it out and see how well this thing works. It's pretty cool high tech uh, thing. Uh, wireless switch. See, instead of buttons on the wall, you can um, use wireless. So uh, open this up. So uh, we have um, neutral, live, live one and live two. Two, it's a two-way switch, if I'm correct. Not two-way, but for two uh, lights. Uh, let go of me, maybe. There we go. Uh, there's no back panel, I believe. No, there's not. Um, uh, right, so uh, indicator light. We have two screws. It should fit in the, you know, um, normal ones. I think this actually uh, opens up somehow. I'm not entirely sure. I have to check how to install this thing and I will actually show you how to install it and I will show you how it works because um, otherwise it's kind of, you know, um, pointless to just show you this. So I'll definitely show it how to install it and how it works. See this, this like thick glass in it. So it should give lights uh, effect and it should be that sensitive as far as I know. I mean, it has to be because you press on it. Is it? Yeah, it has to be. Otherwise, it's uh, it's pretty much useless. So we have the installation manual. See, I already see a screwdriver shows that you have to um, push some pins down and everything. But anyway, I will show you how to install this and how it works. And then I will give you final verdict on it. Uh, so it's time to uh, install this thing and test it out. So the first thing, I'm not going to even um, cut the wires yet. I'm going to just uh, test how it works and get the app working. So um, this one here is the live, I'll first explain it. First the live goes in, well the neutral, and the live goes in from here. And then it will switch uh, live 1 and live 2 on if you press these. So L is a live, that's an input, and L1 and L2 are outputs for light 1 and light 2. Uh, L doesn't stand for light, it's for live, so uh, that's how you connect it. So we're going to connect them. Um, this one, the neutral goes in here, the live goes in here, and that's the earth, so there's no earth on this one, uh, that has to connect to somewhere else then. And the lights, uh, these are the light cables, I have to connect all the neutrals together, like all three of them have to fit in here, I don't know how they're gonna uh, fit in there really. Actually I don't need to, I could just connect them together, but um, I'm gonna do it through this anyway. So. Um, I'm just not sure if there's enough room, like in here, see, if you uh, undo the screw. Uh, there should be, so I'll try to smoosh these together, the free lives and, uh, I mean neutrals, and stick them in there and see how it works. Uh, right, so there's a small problem with this. Uh, perhaps it's a wiring, but see, all of these uh, neutrals, they don't fit <laughs> into this one, so there's no way to... Um, uh, connect that straight, so I had to put this kind of connector and then this goes into live. I'm not sure how it's gonna fit in the box in there, but this is just to test for now, just to connect it up. And it does need the live, so don't like uh, take my word for it, let's just uh, put them together. Because if it doesn't have the neutral, not live, neutral, then uh, this thing itself doesn't work, so that's that's the problem. So you have to connect it like this, so that's how I did it, so... Don't overdo them and don't underdo them either. It's a bit smushy in there, but hopefully it's not going to break. Uh, they need to be cut off a little bit, but like I said, again, this is just to test uh, how this thing is going to work. Right, so that's how it uh, goes. Let's check again. That's live. Yes, live goes into live. Uh, live 1, live 2. That's <laughs> neutral. <laughs> and earth, so just put them together. This is just to test. Uh, right, so you can see the panel. So let's uh, try this. It should be live. Anything? There we go. Some, something's on. Uh, if I put the light on, this thing is blinking. So, uh, whoops. If I touch... If I touch this, then the light should come on. Let's try. Ta-da! And this one. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, it works. So, yep. Lights are definitely working. So, the next step is to set up the um, Wi-Fi. I did check it a little bit and it's very confusing to be honest, so I have um, 
Uh, it first needs the eWeeLink, this, this kind of app in here, so we click install in here. Uh, what? Look what it needs! It needs device and app history, location. Why does it need my location for? What? Photos, media files, camera, microphone. Okay, Wi-Fi connection information, that's okay. Bluetooth uh, connection information. Alright, so it probably connects over Bluetooth and then it connects to my Wi-Fi network. Device ID and call information. Is this, this weird to you guys? Uh, especially camera and microphone. Why does a light switch has to has to access my camera and microphone? Whatever. This this is my uh, Kali uh, tablet anyway. So it's like yeah, go ahead, spy on me if you want. All right. So I got it installed. So I'll try to show you what I'm doing in here. So let's go next. Want your family? Blah blah blah. Enter wheeling. Yeah, I I don't care. Just uh, give me that. Wait, phone number? Are you kidding me? Mobile number or email address? What? Why? Why do you want that for? This this app site might just track down my rating, so oh my god. <sighs> right, so I logged in, so uh add device. Uh I checked it through. I'm not sure what all this this stuff is in here. GSM device, Nest device, Florid camera. So I guess they support more than just uh this thing, but uh already looked in the manual, it has two kind of pairing modes. One is direct if you wanna connect your device to this one. That's direct connection, but in that case you have to disconnect your device from your own network and then connect to this one. And the other one is uh, it goes through the router that disconnects to your router and then the app connects to you know your internet. I mean your phone connects to your uh, router and it goes through that so you don't have to disconnect from your own network. I hope this makes sense. I'm going to try that second method because that's what we need. And to enter the first pairing mode, I'll just explain it, you can't see the light anyway. Right now it's uh, blinking, it's like blink, this, this Wi-Fi icon, blink. Uh, so you hold this for about 5 seconds, uh, this light switch, you just hold it and hold it down. And now it started blinking, it's like blink, 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 blink. That's the pairing mode, so... Um, now we go next from here, uh, we need to go to Wi-Fi network and now it should connect, so let's see, it's uh, still blinking connecting to device, please wait come on then I think my Bluetooth's off oh, it says ready, oh, there we go uh, it's uh, done, so uh, we call it um, we actually tried it before, I have to admit, so I'm not uh, Pretty, you know, in the dark in here. So let's put um, garage uh, lights. There we go. Garage lights, right? Complete. Add it successfully. There we go. All right. Looky, looky. So let's see if I blew anything up. Device offline. What do you mean offline? No, don't tell me it's offline. Right, it looks like I just had to cut power to this one and now it uh, seems it's like working, so let's try again. Ha ha ha, it works guys! Let me show you. Um, Alright, so there are the garage lights and if you click in this in here, ta-da! Look at that, and the other one, and this one, ta-da! Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha it works guys, it works. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, that's that's how it works. The other method the, to connect it, well, I'm not going to disconnect this, but the other method to enter the pairing mode, you do exactly what I told you to do. You hold this for like five seconds until this starts blinking. It's like it was a blink, 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 uh, this, this icon, the Wi-Fi icon in there. And if it's on that pairing mode, then you hold this button down again for about 10 seconds until it starts blinking fast, it's like blink, 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 blink. That means it's in the pairing mode, which means you have to connect to this device directly, and then you can control it. But uh, look at this toy! Wee, wee. <laughs> so that's that's how it works, guys. So uh, hopefully that helped you with this thing. Now the only thing to do is to actually put it into the wall socket in there. So. 
Uh, before I move on with this, I wanted to show you how to open this thing because it says just put the screwdriver in here, but you're gonna just end up breaking it. So what you do is put the screwdriver in here, put slight pressure on it, slightly, not too much. And then you need pliers and see these things in here? Uh, you just squeeze this slightly together. Whoops, uh, see the screwdriver pops out from there. It's difficult for me to show it and do it at the same time, but uh, we <coughs> see I can't do it like this. I have to put slightly pressure on it and then press this together, see? And now it pops out and do the same thing from the other side. There we go. And then it just pops out of here. So that's the best way to do it. And that's how you uh, put this. You put the screws in here and in here. Make uh, sure you don't touch any of the circuit board. Don't put anything on it. Don't get dust on it. It's very sensitive, you know. But uh, so you put the screws in here and here and wherever. Well, you can see where the screw holes are, so. And this thing then uh, it's gonna click back on and hopefully that should be it. And here's the final result. Lights on please. And there we go. So that's that's how it works. And that's the final box thing. As you can see the lights are turning on and off. Perfect. And also to mention about the app, not only it can turn the lights um, on and off in here, but it also has um, a schedule in here. You can uh, click new one. As you can see, you can put the new one in here. And also, this is supposed to work with uh, Alexa and uh, Google and whatnot. And I honestly think that the reason why it wanted to access all the microphone and camera is uh, so it's compatible with it. It's very difficult operating it with one hand. And it also has a timer. So we can set up the timer in here like uh, turn the lights on or off as you can see well, it should explain itself so it's pretty easy to understand really but yeah I think the reason why it wants like location and all that stuff is because uh, it actually knows your time and all that so it probably uh, wants your time zone and stuff but well here you have this uh, awesome Wi-Fi switch and I will see you next time